Hey everyone! Welcome to Active Galactic Videos. My name is Taylor and today I will be bringing you 5 facts about magnetars in under 5 minutes. So let's get started! Magnetars have a super strong magnetic field, hence their name. Most things in the universe have pretty weak magnetic fields because there's as much negative electric charge as there is positive charge, making things neutral. Normal stars have a magnetic field of around a few dozen or a few hundred gauss. Earth's magnetic field is only around 0.5 gauss. But magnetars are a lot stronger. Even the weakest ones have fields of over a trillion gauss. Why are magnetars so strong? Well, it all has to do with the stars that make them. Magnetars are a type of neutron star. They are created from the core collapse of a supernova, which is the death event of a star at least eight times as massive as our own sun. Moments before the supernova occurs, the star's core collapses from about the diameter of the sun all the way down to the size of a city, roughly 14 miles across. All the matter is still there, it's just very, very dense. Since the magnetic field of an object is inversely proportional to its size, it gets stronger when you shrink it. This means that the magnetic field strength increases by a factor of around 10 billion. All of this explains why magnetars have incredibly strong magnetic fields. But do these fields last? Magnetars are very short-lived. They get their magnetic fields from the star that collapsed to create the magnetar. The core collapse fundamentally changes the star. The convective currents of plasma, which once drove the magnetic fields of the original star, start to slow down as the neutron star cools. It cools down because it has no hydrogen left to fuse in its core. Magnetars lose their magnetic fields in about 10,000 years, which might seem like a long time, but stars exist for billions of years before they go supernova and evolve into neutron stars. Strong magnetic fields normally cause strong magnetic attractions, but nothing too strange or unexpected. They're still within the realm of the everyday world we live in that can be explained by the laws of electromagnetism. But a magnetar's magnetic field is so strong that the electron shell of an atom, which is normally spherical, can become elongated and cigar-shaped. It can change the wavelengths of light, cause light to split into multiple waves, and even merge into one. The surface of a magnetar is very unstable. The magnetic fields can induce an event called the starquake. The magnetic fields of a magnetar slowly change direction, causing a buildup of currents on its crust, distorting it and increasing the temperature. The crust can only distort so much before it breaks, and when it does, the result is a starquake. The extremely high energy that's resulted from the breaking of the crust is radiated away in the form of high energy x-rays and gamma rays, along with a fireball of nuclei and electrons, which are ejected from the surface of the magnetar. But how much energy is produced exactly? Well, the largest quake ever recorded on Earth was about a 10 on the Richter scale. A recent magnetar star quake event that happened in 2004 would have registered as a 23, or 10 trillion times stronger than the largest earthquake ever recorded. Unlike earthquakes, star quakes of that magnitude are not uncommon for active magnetars. Thank you for watching our videos, everyone. Remember to leave comments for us below, like, subscribe, and check out the other videos. Bye!